The following video contains things that some AMX 50B drivers might find insulting. Hello ladies and Uncle Jen and welcome to another Is It Worth The Grind video and today we are going to be looking at the T57 Heavy, the American Pure 10 Heavy Tank. So is it worth the grind? Seriously? You still have this question? If you still have this question, well, this video should stop any doubts. Of course it's worth the grind. This thing is uh, one of the most op overpowered tanks for its tier. It's up there next with the KV-1S. Uh, and yeah, I mean, the fact that I put this tank in the game is a slap in the face for everybody that was driving French tanks before, French autoloaders. Because this thing is just so much better. It's not even funny. I don't know what they were thinking, but if you want to play an OP tank in tier 10, get the T-57 and I hope I'll explain why in the following 7 or so minutes. So, what makes it better? The armor? Not really. Uh, the armor, the turret armor is 127, which is still absolute shit. And the, the turret can be panned. If you shoot the turret wing, you should have no problems with even tier 7 tanks. But the fact that makes this tank is so OP is the gun. It gets the 120 mil. That's pretty similar to the 50B. Uh, in every way apart from the reload. Reload speed on this gun is abysmal. It reloads in 22 seconds, the reload between shots are 2 seconds, which is half a second faster than it to be. Well, it might not seem a lot, but when you have to shoot 4 times, uh, you save more than a second. And and yeah, here I take a really bad beating at the start, but it won't matter too much because I, did, I took, did my part, now I can just support and shoot the enemy's shit away. So, mobility. It's not a 50B by any stretch of imagination, but it's not slow either, it's not an E100. Uh, it gets about the same speed that the M103, the E5, all, that, all those other uh, American heavies get. So, it's not half bad, but... Really, the, the reload on this auto loading gun is just crazy. And look at this, only, what, 2 minutes and 10 seconds have gone by and I've done 4k damage. Like, seriously, what the fuck is this? And this tank can do it all the time. Like, this is the easiest tank to play in tier 10, by no doubt. It, even though the armor might not be that great, but the firepower is so retarded that the uh, you won't need that armor, you can just shoot whatever is in front of you, you can shoot him away, and there's nothing you can do about it. So yeah, the game might not seem that, uh, to be going our way, but when you have a T-57 and it's still alive, don't write the game off by any chance. Like, two, it was 2.7 at the time, now it's 5.8, but still, I mean, this tank can pull the games out of the enemy's bag in no time at all. Here I take a really defensive position to to counter the enemies that are will that want to go to the cap circle and I'll catch a 50B out of guard. Won't do too much damage, but still he won't be thinking about getting in the cap circle anymore. So equipment, um, of course, um, gun leg drive, bird stab, and ventilation. This thing can't carry a uh, gun rammer since it's an auto loader, but uh, you don't need it. With this reload, you don't need a fucking gun rammer. Uh, and for the crew skills, of course, repair, six sense, snapshot is nice, um, smooth ride, clutch braking, all that usual jazz. Nothing really special about that. So, how to play this? Uh, well, just get into your enemy's faces, do your clip, get a roll back into cover, and do it repeatedly. They might shoot you once or twice, it doesn't matter, because you'll shoot them four times. This gun is accurate enough to pen four times, you're always aim because this tank is not as fast as 50B so you don't have the problem that you're going too fast so you can't aim and uh, yeah here you can just appreciate the armor on the T57 Heavy this is just retarded the enemies were bad they weren't shooting like good but still I mean, the fact that I survived this encounter look at the 50B he fire first but I'll get my shot first and he dies and that T other T57 Heavy couldn't bend me because he was shooting my angle angle all and yeah, I roll off and they lose. On more open maps, try to find some solid cover to hang behind and to empty your mag at something that's that's not aware of your position. Practic trying to catch people off guard with this thing is always a good life choice. Uh, fighting enemies head on is really easy as well. 
since there's not much they can do about your clip, you always have to make sure that before you engage your enemies you are fully reloaded, which is the most important thing. So about the line, the line is a mix of uh, a lot of different tanks, like the T21 is a, is a solid passive scout, put optics and binos on it and just sit in a bush. T21 is more like a sniper uh, sniper scout with that little auto loader and a little nice damage potential. The T69 was my least favorite tank in the line, more or less the usual player will just use all heat but I w wasn't that cheap. I it with only AP, so it is kind of pain in the ass with the 70 something pen, if even that much. And uh, the tier 9 one was quite a lot of fun, that thing was balanced. This thing is not. The, the, the E1, it had the it had drawback to this firepower and reload, it had the lousy penetration, which seemed, which seemed fair. Like, that thing seemed balanced. I still did pretty well with it. I didn't use gold, there was no need for it. I mean, 219 or whatever pen it had was good enough, but this thing is just OP. So, the T57 Heavy, not my favorite tank just because it doesn't challenge my abilities as a player. It's so, it's too easy to play, uh, and that's why I don't like it too much, but as a tank, it's really good, borderline OP. So, yeah, if you want something like that, go for it. So the experience was doubled on the screenshot, it was the 3k damage 3 kill game which you get a lot in the T57 Heavy, plus the credits was uh, with the T57 Heavy event going on, so 30% plus as well, and in, in, me, in the time of the event the T57 would act like a tier 8 premium tank, at least with the money it would make. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one.